Hello everyone. So in my last video, actually I explained like how we are going to read data from any CSV file and then actually save those data into the database. Now today I'm going to explain like how we are going to uh, like read data from the database, export those data, like fetch all the records from the database and uh, we can write those records into a one CSV and you can download from any REST APIs. So how we are going to doing so doing that. So that I'm going to explain today, like how we are going to read all the data from the database and uh, we can generate into a one CSV so that we can download from any REST APIs. So that I'm going to explain today. So for that basically we are going to create one APIs. So I'm going to continue the same thing for like uh, uh, in the uh, similar project, in the same project actually, that I was going to say here, basically I'm going to create another APIs, which will be a basically gate mapping, uh, because it's a gate one. Like we are just getting the details from, and uh, here basically we are going to public, for the timing of keeping as a void, gate, or maybe we can say export CSV, okay? We are not taking any input, only what we are going to take over here is HTTP sublet response. HTTP sublet response. Why we need? Because like in the response basically we need to set the content type and all. So that's why we are taking this response. If you see the database, so in the database basically we are having this file data. So basically we are going to fetch the data from this table and accordingly we can uh, like return the data. So for that basically we are already having one service. So here we are going to write one service uh, method which is basically fetch all the records from the database. So public void get all or maybe find all find all okay so using a repository file repository file repository dot find all so it will return to fetch all the records and uh, it will give us all the data from the database so it's a list of files okay now in the controller layer basically we are going to write the logic for for like for downloading the csv from this rest endpoint okay so basically first of all we are going to uh, set one file name like like what will be the file name so we need to provide over here for example it's uh, it's a kind of maybe employee data dot csv okay and then like We are going to set dot content type. It will be a text or CSV as we are going to download as a CSV. Okay. Next in the response, basically we need to set the header response dot set header. So here basically we need to provide the HTTP header. Okay. HTTP header dot this one okay let me remove from over here http headers we are going to take this one dot content Depositions, disposition actually, dispositions. Okay, and then here basically we are going to write something like uh, attachment file name. file name okay 
this is how we are going to find this attachment means we need to set the header for this response type so that's why basically we need this uh, response over here so in the response basically we need to says those things now we need to create the csv writer over here so stateful stateful csv builder stateful bin to csv builder and the context so we are going to use this one as you can see this is also coming from the open csv so this is going to we are going to use and here we are taking these files okay because we are going to write data for this one this is a writer equals to new state stateful 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 bean okay it's the typo stateful csv so here basically here we are going to put the writer response from where we are getting the writer from the response basically it's having a one writer so from here basically we are going to writer add this writer and then with okay let me check so instead of this we are going to use this builder okay okay and here actually it's showing some like arguments so we need to pass this argument as files okay now actually with basically we are going to use the separator because uh, whenever we are going to write any like csv file so then we need to use some kind of like uh, separator so csv writer we are going to pass this one as a default separator okay so what will be the default separator that actually comma so that it's basically taking okay and after this we need to use some build we need to build this one so that is the writer is ready now now we are going to use this writer to write the data so writer dot write and here basically we are going to use the file so for files data we are going to use this uh, file service dot find all because it's return us all the records okay so that means okay and it's maybe throwing some exceptions it is also we need to use over here so once this is this is writing is csv writing is done next basically we are going to return this one so how we are going to return this one response entity here basically we are going to pass this one response entity dot ok dot content media type media type media type dot value of text or csv dot body even if we not return anything then also once we write that means we are submitting this response so like uh, 
it will basically uh, like uh, generate the CSV for us so here basically we can also do one more thing with this separator also it's having a lots of option like we can maintain the order for this one so with order results there's one things so if we set this true either true or false so let's try with this false one okay so this is done now okay now let's start this one let me start this one service let me start so it will start basically in 880 port as you can see the gate mapping the name is the export csv so already i have like uh, used this uh, url to download the like this particular csv file so it once it will start then we are going to hit this url so what it will do it will basically uh, uh, in the response HTTP sublet response basically it, we are setting the content type and with that also we are taking means uh, setting the header then we have taking one stateful bin which is basically belongs to the open csv and with that builder basically we are providing this response dot get writer and we are providing one separator and order result and then we are building this one so using this writer we are basically write the data for the files whatever the data over here so now as you can see over here it is already started okay and 880 port uh, so now let me download this one so once you let the, as you can see the employee data is already like uh, downloaded okay now you can see the data is already downloaded over here okay with the description one id value was two all the seven so all the data is downloaded in this way so this is very simple like as you know this is a very simple one so this is the way basically that we can't uh, like download the csv from existing data from database so i have just uh, for demonstrating one i have not used any kind of like logic for fetching the data from the database just i've used the find all over here basically we can put some more logic because in the real scenarios uh, we obviously we need to uh, put some more detail over there so that is the reason so here for the demonstrating one like uh, i have not used anything so uh, basically this is the thing uh, that how we are going to uh, generate the csv and already my previous example i have shown how we are going to read data from the csv and put into the database and now i have uh, covered this one like how we are going to face data from the database and uh, accordingly we can like uh, uh, like uh, generate the export the csv so this is the approach that we have taken so there is a multiple approach over there so this is the one of the approach that uh, we can use for downloading the csv file so that's all for this one if you guys have anything please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching bye bye